Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got four fraction models here, and we need to find two that are showing to be equivalent fractions. So let's do this, because you know what? They actually helped us out quite a bit here. Take a look. They gave it to us straight in line with each other, so we can just look at these models without having to do any type of extra work. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this connect line feature what i'm going to do is i'm going to have small grids see if i can find a line here okay so let's see this you see this model w let's see that's not going to work let's see if i can find right there all right so there's that line i'm going to see is there anything else that's on that line so that model w what does that model W represent? That model W represents there's two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's two out of eight shaded. I don't see anything else that goes to that same one, but that's that's gonna be kind of what we're gonna be looking at. So let's take a look at model X. So since they're all lined up, look at model X and look at model Z. Model X and model Z look like they're shaded because they're lined up. So if they're not lined up, you're gonna have to do it a different way. But since they're lined up, they've got it done for you. So I've got two shaded out of one, two, three, four. And let's take a look at model Z. I've got one, two, three, four shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So from this, it looks like my two fourths is equal to my four eighths. And I'll show you another way to visualize that in just a moment. Let's finish this out though. Let's just double check to make sure model Y doesn't work for anything. Right, model Y. I'll make it go up and I'll make it go down. I guess I could do the same thing for my model X. You notice that there's only one that goes to that green level here on model Y and I've got three shaded out of four pieces. Okay, so the two that I'm looking at here are gonna be my two fourths and my four eighths. Now, how can we know that two fourths is equal to four eighths? Now, let me change my grid size here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two fourths. All right, so let me just draw this. All right, so that's going to be my two fourths. So there's a rectangle, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up into four equal parts. One, two, three lines gets me four equal parts. So if I wanted to shade this, let's shade it with magenta. Right here's my two fourths. Okay, so that's my two-fourths. Now, in order for it to be an equivalent fraction, what I need to be able to do is break up that, that fraction there, the two-fourths, into smaller or uh, maybe make it larger pieces. In this case, I want to be smaller pieces without changing the shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these fourths and I'm going to break them in half. So I cut that in half, cut that in half, cut that in half, cut that in half. I didn't change the shading at all. And what do I have now? I've got one, two, three, four pieces shaded in out of eight total pieces. So since I didn't change the shading, I just cut each fourth into half to make an eight. That's why you know that these two are equal. So model X and model Z, my answer here is B.